everybody. Welcome, welcome to another Maze Age podcast number 84. Yeah, and our first proper um, podcast on the the YouTube stream. Has everybody cracked a lack and I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you guys have been fantastic. Uh, tonight, we'll be, tonight we're going to be talking about... I mean, I'm in a... Uh, Lately, I've been on a, on a big like FNAF like FNAF th- FNAF theories binge. So we're gonna be looking at a FNAF, a FNAF theory from Right Host. That's quite interesting. Look quite interesting. So I'm gonna check that out. That's gonna be the the big the big the big the, the meat of the um, of what what's going to go on. We're gonna also be talking about what's going on with me, like the, where, what's going on with me this week, and also like what's uh, what's going on what's going on. Going on, because I'm I'm gonna be away. Obviously, because I'm gonna be away for a couple of days. Also, um, the finish and also the finish off. I just do DVD, D, some DVD Twitter. Maybe even look at some of my co- maybe even look at like um my comments on my YouTube my YouTube channels. The f- some funny comments on my YouTube channels. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how things go. But um yeah, to so this week my week how's my week been? My week's been. Very, very good. <laughs> um, very, very good. Um, um, if you didn't know, I'm go- go- my brother's moved out. Um, he moved out on Wednesday. Was that the Wednesday choose? I think it was Wednesday. He moved out. He's moved down the Christchurch. Um, we, I am, I'm going to be t- taking his new his, his old office. And make it my stream office, so that's gonna be Pog. Um, I have, I'm in the means of of doing it up um, to how I like it. Um, we just I just finished um, re-plastering the walls today, um, giving the carpet a clean. Now, just doing some general maintenance. There's doing general maintenance. Then we're gonna when I come back. When I come come back, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be painting it. I'm gonna be I can't because this needs a lick of paint. And once that that that's uh that is all done, I can start moving all my stuff in. So I'm very very excited to do that. Very very excited. Um, so pretty much because my to be fair, well, the problem with the setup I've got right now it's a bit all over the place. Um, so I want to try and I want to try and I want to try and like with the, with the nudist declutter all, my, all of the stuff. And ho- I, I'm hoping I can do that. Um, also, also um, order an- another computer, so another computer, so I don't have to stream off a lap. I'm not, I don't have to be streaming off a laptop. So I can actually have a laptop again. A laptop is a separate thing again. That's gonna be plus. As in, also go older some stuff for for the room, like some some all other like necessary stuff for the for, for the stuff on Timu. And I, I actually Timu actually got a lot of cool stuff. I'm I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Timu actually is kind of, Timu is actually kind of lit. I'm not gonna lie. Of all like electronic stuff. Um, but this is it. Actually, kind of lit. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually very very, very good. I got a whole bunch of I got I got a whole bunch of stuff stuff. I just got my 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 cup and everything and all shit and all that sort of stuff from Timo. Also, also if you don't know, I got a new I got a new I got a new addition to the the model. I got my scar back. As in, I want I wanted to put this bring the scar back because I don't know I just like the scar. As in, I'm I wanted to get rid of the eye patch. I can't get I can't technically get rid of the eye patch. But the only problem is when I. Only problem with the even with the eye patch is um I've got to a to- like any of my other toggles and it's literally the eye patch comes back, so I'm kind of st- I'm, I'm kind of stuck with the eye patch for now. I'm kind of stuck with the eye patch. Um, I do have my other model. I do I have my other model I can probably use. I I, I kind of like this model. I I kind of like this model. I really like this model. As I said, I don't I mean, I, was, I kind of. I, I can't afford to get a commission right now, so I'm, I'm I am I can't afford to, to get an update, updated version. But I like I like this model, but um, but, so we, we 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 got the scar scar for now. As I said, as I said, 
As I said, it's a little bit, it's a little bit wonky, but it'll do. It, it'll do, donkey. It'll do. But saying that, saying that, yeah. So I move. So once the rooms are done, we can actually start moving stuff into the office. I'm actually really that'd be so good. I'm gonna try and knock it out within a day. Like get all the. I don't want to be. I don't want to be downstream time. Stream time. So I'm, I'm gonna try and do try and do all one hit if I can. I can get it all set up. If I, as I said, even if I have to do it, I probably do. Even if I have to do it on the weekend. I wait till the weekend to do it. I'll do it then, because it's at least it's gonna at least take a a day a day for the um paint to dry, for the painting and also like the, for the dry. Uh, as I said, we've done all we've done all the we've done all the uh the painful the painful stuff. I still got a lot of stuff. Other, there's still a lot of other stuff I need to do, like also like lighting. I fix up some, the lighting in the room. Um, upgrade, upgrade some of the, uh, upgrade some of the outlets to like, because I got like like two, like two 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 gangs. I'm gonna try to make make them the four gangs, and get some USB get some USB stuff USB um, huh, uh mix mix in so I can um charge my, get some charging charging stuff. No, 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 try, try again. As again, trying to make everything all neat and tidy. You know, make it look cool. Um, yeah, once I, once I move that all, once I got that all done, because I, I can start sorting out my room, as I said, oh, cause what, at one the moment I'm doing room by room, so the, the obviously the office is the main thing, because I want to move in the office as quickly as possible, then once the stuff shit is out of my room, that so goes in the games room, that's when I'm going to start my room, so I got, my room shouldn't take too long, to be honest, because it's literally just... I'm only just moving, moving all the artwork into the games room, um, a desk, um, desk, um, consoles, all that sort of stuff, going in there. My fridge is going, my my fridge is going to go in there. I might want to try and move the fridge in there. Uh, move one of the TVs I got in here in there. Is it a whole bunch of stuff? What? I was like, what? My I I can't wait though. I can't wait for my setup to be done. Once I get, as in, I'm not sure. I want to. I'm. I'm. I might wait and do the lighting. Lighting first. I'm not sure yet. Lighting and all the other stuff first before I move my stuff in. As I'm not. I'm a bit like fifty fifty on what I want to do. I'm kind of fifty fifty what I want to do. Because I want to move in there as quickly as I can. But I'm don't want to rush it either. You know. I don't really want to rush it because if I rush things, then, and I. I'm also wait. I thought I'm always all wait until like the other PC comes. Then I gotta I can start setting all that up. Then I can set that up because um I can set up the monitors and all that. That'd be kind. That'd be, be kind of cool. They get all that organized. Um, as I said, once that once once the I can once the office is done, I'm out, done. I, I can actually like fix up the my bedroom because my bedroom is a very it's a very cluttered area at the moment. A very cluttered area. What I want to do, what I want to do for my room, because once I move the desk out, the drawers, the um, side drawer, the the consoles, the fridge, um, maybe I might even get rid of the bookshelf. Get rid of the bookshelves. That is very debating on if I'm going to get rid of the bookshelves or not. The TV's definitely going to go. TV's definitely gonna go. Like once I move all that stuff, um, I want I want my moving the bed around. Maybe I'm I'm, de I'm debating on that. To be honest, I am debating on that. But I definitely need to like fix it. This this room's because I have not done a lot with this room since I've since I've mo moved back then. This room has pretty much been the it's called pretty much, pretty much been the exact the same since I moved back. I think it, well, I think it's even more of a mess when the, my original PC died. Once my original PC died, it was kind of yeah. So, so I think once we move into the once we move into the other, other room, I can get I can have a bit more space in here, and I can start like properly putting stuff moving stuff around. Uh, that'll be fun. 
That'll be fun. It's, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna take a while. It's not gonna be a five minute job. It's gonna take a, take a. It's gonna take a. Oh, ooh. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna definitely gonna take. It's not gonna be a five minute job to do. But uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Anyway, aside from all the other stuff, I am going. Also going to Christchurch on tomorrow. Um, I'm flying to Queenstown first because um, Mum's in Queenstown at the moment, um, visit, visiting her sis, visiting her sisters. So I'm meeting her there. They were driving down to Christchurch to um, help make sure my brother's all settled in. Is, is there any like help him out with any stuff? Any like bulky stuff to set up? I know he was having troubles with like PC. Help him out with his um is is PC set up. Um, like make sure everything's all. And then make sure he's got his all get his cabinets all set up and all that sort of stuff. Like that's, that's literally just helping with like the bulky stuff and make sure he's all he's all good, ready to go. But yeah, so we're, we're gonna meet. We're gonna be going down. We're gonna be going down. Is it going down or going up? It's going down. It's going down. It's going down. As I'm, I'm, ter- I'm terrible. But yeah, we're going to another Christchurch. Is this going to be the first time I've been to Christ, is the first time I, I, is it the first time going to Christchurch since I moved back I moved I moved moved back from, from Christchurch to Auckland. So it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a it's gonna be very nostalgic for me because I I lived in Christchurch for like almost like a year. A year. Unfortunately, my I, I, my roommate didn't really like me very much so. And that's so we should have a falling. We end up falling out. So it is, you know, it is what it is. But like, you know, you know, I actually did really. I actually really enjoyed Christchurch. To be honest, I really d- did enjoy Christchurch. It was. It was actually a lot. It actually was genuinely a lot of fun. Um, as I said, my brother seems to. My brother's place seems to be quite nice. Older place. Older place, but I think it's a. It's a. It's a, it's a he's renting it, so like, not all rentals gonna be like. Out of this world. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Rent, rentals are a bit meh, but, but it's okay. It is what it is. As I said, as I said, I, I, I noticed he had a fireplace in this place. Like, do not use the fireplace. You, you are not competent enough to use a fire. You, the, 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 you, you with fire is, is a no-no. Like, I love my brother, but the thing is, I do not trust him to make to um put firewood and like not burn the freaking house down. Like, not try, not mean, not trying to be a dick to my brother. Yeah, I said them don't use a fireplace. I'd rather use I'd rather you use a heater than you use a you you, you touch the fireplace. Because listen, me, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. To use a fireplace. Like no no disrespect to my brother. I love my brother very much, but like don't use I as I said don't don't use the fireplace. You you're going to burn your you're going to burn your house down. Going to burn your house down. Do not use the fireplace. Yeah, but saying saying that, he's it, he's it, actually done pretty well. He's he's done pretty well. He's got his room room was he set up his room quite well. I'll, I'll, give, him, I'll give him that. As it, he's got like a temporary desk at the moment, so he can he, so he can do like his um tech stuff. Um, but like, as I don't, I, well, I'm a bit worried as well. He's he's got like a glass. I'm um, work like glass desk. I'm like, and he's got his monitor. It's quite a he- it was quite a heavy monitor. It's got quite a heavy monitor, and also his PC on top of the desk. I'm like, yeah, I don't I mean. I, I don't feel like you should not put that on your. Should not should not put that on the desk. I feel like that desk is that desk is might shatter. Like in all dis- all respects, if if any. If like any sort of like bad, like rough moment or hard thing, that thing's gonna shatter to a million pieces, and like your monitor and your PC is gonna meet you meet you on the floor. I do. I, I did say to him you should really move the piece the, the desktop down to down on the floor. Like for like, maybe just for safety reasons. Like don't. There's maybe just not have it on the ta- on the glass glass desk. Because I, you know that because I I've, I don't know he said it's like quite quite tough steel not like even I even I thought even so that shit any sort of like bad rough movement or like a hard whack that th- that I'm worried that thing's gonna shatter like into a million you just need to find that sweet spot where you can break shit 
You just need to find that sweet spot. It's even with safety glass. You just need to find that that sweet spot in the safety glass to shatter it. And as I said, let's be very careful. That's, that's my only my only two concerns is him shattering his desk and him, him using the fireplace. But as I said, he's got heaters in there, so I I, I think he's got. An, I hope he's got enough of a brain not to use the freaking not to use the freaking um fireplace. But um. But otherwise, we're um, very, very wise. Otherwise, we're gonna be, gonna be having um. I think we got a whole bunch of draws and shit to set up. Rules to set up for Alpha Mount because brother with brother with DIY stuff is he's actually kind of shocking at it. I said I got I got him. I have his old um this display case, and that he is. I don't know how he. I don't know how he screwed that thing together. I'm not sure he used the. He definitely didn't use a screwdriver because. It, that thing is loose, loose. That thing is a loosey goosey, right? As I, it's barely holding together. As I, as I was pulling it out of the, of, of the um, the bedroom. As I said, it is not good. So I'm, I'm gonna see if I can sell. I'm gonna see if I can salvage it because I, I wouldn't mind it to be honest. Because it's quite a not decently decently sized display case, and I wouldn't mind putting all my um, all my um, anime figures up as well. I wouldn't mind doing that. I wouldn't mind doing that. Having a little anime figure display I thought that'd be kind of cool because I am not I put more, most I put my, most of my stuff my anime stuff all, my figures away because I don't I don't really have the room for it but so I think I can get I, I think I can um, get that get that work get that going then I can probably put that all up that'd be kind of sick alright now we've blabbered on we've blabbered on for 20 minutes about stuff um you YouTube 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 this week has YouTube this week is actually doing pretty well. I've done like if we switch up, well, I'll quickly switch over. All right, YouTube this week. So we from the the last podcast, but uh, from yeah the, from here. So the FNAF crew one well, did FNAF the craft you turns the craft you the Pokemon video did really well. As so that, I think I want I need I need to react to the new new ones because he's done two more um, podcast. I mean. Let's be honest. The podcast video doesn't always do amazing, but uh, you know it is what it is. You know, something does well, something doesn't. It, it is what it is. Uh, the Cinder video did very well. The Cinder, vi- I think mean, people really like. I mean, it was, uh, this, I like while reacting to Cinder. Cinder actually really, really like that. Actually, the T word did really well, even though I got like one dislike. The video did alright. The fo- the Foxy the Foxy video, um, Fury video did really well. Crazy enough, that one actually did really, really well. So we're definitely going to be doing more of that for sure. Definitely going to be doing more of the of on the uh, FNAF fairies. That's what I thought I might do. For, uh, I mean, I didn't. Re- I haven't had a chance to react to any other fairies this week. That's why I'm going. To, I thought was maybe we do a FNAF theory um podcast, and like and like I feel like the right to right host got some really good FNAF fairies to be fair. Um, as we've got videos for this week, as we've got, as you know, we have, we've got to upload the podcast after we do after after this, so we'll put that in. As I'm, ideally, when I'm trying to get all my videos ready to go, so I don't have to worry about it. So this this is pretty much this channel is pretty much all done. The video just the shorts. But I'm I'm still debating if I'm not, I'm gonna do the shorts yet. I still got to do thumbnails for the Gacha channel, and I also do got to do editing and editing and videos for the. Gaming channel because I am now out of my, I am pretty much almost almost fully out of my archive now, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna have to uh, dig deep and do some um, content. But um, otherwise this is, otherwise this channel's done. This is shorts. If I'm even gonna do shorts, let's watch out the Garcha. So we got pretty much all the videos ready to go for the Garcha channel. Pretty much we just got. I said I didn't get a chance to finish the thumbnails. As we've still got like one, two, three, four thumbnails to do. A good thing is we've got, we've got a bit of an archive in here too, so we'll work out which videos we're going we're gonna to upload. Um, so, and plus we've got videos we haven't even edited yet, so we need to do like the my um face my facial pull video and also all that sort of and all sort of other stuff that other stuff, and they bring over. Um, so we, we started. What was it? I think it was a Jade. Was it Jade? Was it? J- 
Was it? I think Jane was the first video this week. Was it? Or was it the? I'm not sure. What? 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 What are the weeks off on the ninth? So yeah, it would have been. It would have been this video. I saw eight views. I mean, it was some. I know the Gacha Channel sort of goes up and down in views. It's, it is what it is. Then we got the Jane Do the Jane Doe demo. I mean, eh. I mean, again goes up and down. Anyway, sure did pretty well. Um, fifty fifty like ratio. Fifty fifty like right like ratio. Um, I think I think Wu was actually. I think I'm gonna be honest. I feel like Wu was kind of dying a little bit in all respects. I feel like not a lot of people have been playing. I don't feel like a lot of people have not been playing Wu. I know I haven't been playing Wu that much. To be honest, I've been really slack on playing Wu. To be honest. As I'll probably play Wii when I get back, same with Arms Easy so I've just I've actually been really slack. I'm not gonna be honest, I've been really slack. Um also the and the face shell um whole the whole face shell and the um voice actor drama. That they did pretty well. Then I mean got a five to seven I I said I've it's always interesting always interesting like the like to this like ratio when I do like a these sort of videos. I don't, know, I don't know. It's one of those things, and the gaming channel, the gaming channel. That we still got to, we still got to do some. We got a lot, of, a lot to do. It was, a, it was a, it was, a, it was really good this week. I mean, the front of laps of freeze video. I, I, I heard that I didn't think that the video was going to well. So that's the, I think it's one of the highest thing videos I've had on this channel for what, ages. Also, we got the we started Mario. We got a shiny hunting one. We got a. DVD highlights and we got a first upload of me and Bun playing um, Fusion. So that's, that's that, that was fun. So that, that that was fun. That was fun. Um, I had, my Discord's going crazy. Let me quickly check my Discord. What's going on? What's going on? Nothing. No, not. Must be something else. Must be something else. Must be, must be, must be notifications for one of them. Uh, I I'm in so many discords. I need to have a discord clean up again. I need to have actual discord clean up again. Yeah, so video, actually videos on the game show actually popped off quite a bit. As a that that what, what's my current like highest rate video? It's a chibi video. The chibi video is that is my best video. As a maybe should maybe maybe should upload like more like little shorts. Little shorts. I know. I should. I should maybe do that. I should actually do that. I'm. Not, I'm. I'm. Not, I should actually do that. I should actually do that. But yeah. As I said, but mainly just trying to get everything. As it. As it. It's my videos go up and down. So I notice my videos go up. Some, some videos do really well. Some videos do bad. And I have a period where I do really well. And the period when I do really, really poorly, so like it's just really finding a balance, pretty much on what's good, what's bad, you know. At this stage, we're at this stage, we're it's just one of those things. We're just gonna what works, and what what works. I said, like algorithm, what, and like trying to get myself on that algorithm. But the. the like, people seem to really like me reacting to um, VTube stuff, VG stuff, and the the theory stuff, and the FNAF theory stuff. So I might do more of those. Um, yeah, I'm definitely. I just, I, I just, I'm, I'm, I've been like really into FNAF theories anyway. I, I, I always, I've always done, we've always done rea VTube reaction reactions on the podcast. To be fair, when, when Sage was still around, Sage was around. We used to do, we used to do like. Whole bunch of YouTubers. I mean, I mean, we used to work. Look, I mean, we we used a lot of lot of soft YouTube stuff. To be fair, I don't think I've done a lot of. I, I don't think I've done a lot of since I changed the name from Sus Hub to um, Media Sage. I don't think I've done a lot any like like over sus stuff. To be honest, I feel like all my uh, my uh, my other reactions on like on Brown Dust Two and freaking um. Brown Dust 2 and um, Snowbreak have been more sus than actually what I do on the podcast. I said it. I said, this is also one of those things you got to be careful what you what I re, what I do, look at too. As well, I'm a bit, a bit cautious, especially because um, 
Like YouTube, YouTube's been on YouTube. Not, not as much YouTube, but freaking Twitch has been on the warpath on like deleting, like deleting, like um, like eating VTubers off, off like to, to Twitch. I know. Uh, I think Fifi was having problems. Fifi was him. I think she made a Fifi made a video. Fifi made a video about it. Fifi. Uh, where's Fifi? No, Fifi made a video on that. Yeah. All right. Let's. I'm gonna pick the video up. Yeah. So like Fifi, Fifi's like has been banned like seven times. I mean. The thing is, when you get when you ban on Twitch, they give you sort of like a half description of what you've done wrong, and like, I know, um, I, and like they don't really give you like what was the, the category thing that got you banned. They don't tell you that. So like, and I feel like also Twitch has a very a weird vendetta towards VTubers for some reason, like a very a really weird vendetta against VTubers. As, a, and like, I don't know why. But uh, Twitch is like, like yeah, we don't like we don't like VTubers no more. I mean, uh, I know, and it's just one of those things. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I've heard so many so many VTubers like VTubers I actually watch and like know are getting like banned. Like Fifi got banned. I think Fifi. Uh, I'm gonna watch the Fifi video so in a minute. In a minute, I know um my Kevin Kevin Cameron's got banned for um like some sort of like offline chat sort of thing. We react to we react to we react to. I might actually upload that video this week. I think I'll upload. I'm not sure if I got that video ready to go. I'm not sure, but um, if not, it will be uploaded next week. It's all the whole weird. Uh, I hope by then. Um, also, if, um, Kevin is back. She got they got a 14 day ban. I don't think I've ever had anyone get a 14 day ban unless they've done something super super crazy. Um, actually, yeah, the Nia Sanji girl. Um, is it Scarlet? Um, um, got 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 got, got banned on Twitch, but Scarlett, that's got. But I think Scarlett doesn't even stream on Twitch. I I don't think any of the near near Sanji near Sanji um stream um VTubers stream on Twitch. So I thought that was a bit weird. Um, yeah, like I showed it was like another VTuber I knew I've known for forever. Um, our little knee got banned. And the, and they wouldn't tell her what they she, what they did wrong. Well, I'm like, well, how are they supposed to how are they supposed to like work? How are they supposed to work around why they work around work around getting banned? If you don't tell them what what was the reason why they got banned, you give like a really brief description on what the, what they got banned, and like no, there's no in, insight, and like cause the like the thing that bans them is a robot. Then when you talk to a human, they're like, uh, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know, I, I, I'm going to believe the robot. Like, like surely you need to have you need to have some confident, like competent people to actually, like sort out your freaking, sort of your freaking TOS. Because uh, there's so many things. The same thing is is like I feel like VTube is VTube is lately being getting a bit rough. When you got like in real, in real live streamers like show their ass and flop their titties out on freaking stream and get like a three, and the worst thing to do is get a three day ban. It's a bit rough. It's a bit rough. All right, we'll check out the Fifi's video. We'll see what's going on. What's going on? Hey guys, so you probably noticed the lack of videos recently, and there's no reason for it. For the past two years, I have been posting loot shorts sometimes every day. Yep. Really enjoyed making the most funny loop clips, but at some point I stopped using myself in the videos and started being lazy mm -hmm. and using random clips I found on the internet. Fair enough. I realized that honestly I was getting burnt out on doing almost daily uploads of loop clips and I really wanted to move on to something else. That plus YouTube demonetizing my channel and deleting a hundred of my videos made me realize it was mm. time to move on. You know, I don't know I've ever had it. I don't think it, I don't think I've ever had I think oh no, that's not that's not true. YouTube has deleted at least two videos I've done. Sorting out, sorting out his bed. 
make, help me make, 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 make his bid. It's all good. As I said, everything's sort of a rush rush at the moment because I'm, I'm also because I'm going away tomorrow. Uh, I think I leave like ten in the mor like ten in the morning. So now you have to get things sorted. But yeah, no. I, so the the fifty video is more about content changing and all that sort of stuff. I I, I get that. I I mean I either let's be honest. I either change my content too. As I said, as I, also a good thing about the also live streaming on YouTube now, as well as um as restreaming on YouTube YouTube and Twitch, is that you all the YouTube all the YouTube gets to see the um raw content, the raw stuff, and not the uh, edited the the edited version when I, when I upload it. So po so pogs to you guys. To the YouTube peeps, but yeah, as in, I don't like you gotta change your content though. I, I'm definitely have changed my content quite a bit, but quite a fair bit. As in, I mean, I want God when I thought when I first started streaming, I was doing Pokemon. I was doing Pokemon Hunt. Is dog, dog, you come on, good girl. Where are you? Where are you? Do you are, Bubba? You are? Alright, let's get my door closed. But yeah, I did. I did Pokemon content for the longest time. I like. I, I still play Pokemon, but the thing is, I don't do as much. I, I used to do like Pokemon like every every day. I used to stream Pokemon like every day, like sh like shiny hunting, all that sort of stuff. I don't think I did a, have done a shiny hunt in like forever. Like, I don't. I know, like, let's be honest, Skyrim Vada what didn't really hit. I mean, after I finished the game and got, I did a couple of shiny hunts, um, I kind of got bored of it really quickly. And, like, the, the whole gimmick with the, with the, like, there was the last DLC, oh, you can get all the starish and you can shiny hunt them. But, you need to grind for three billion points that don't, that you, you can only get in a very certain thing over and on. They can only get the sort of equivalent to all these points if you play online with other people. I'm like, that's fucking stupid. That's so stupid. Like, you have to grind for 3,000, there's like 3,000 battle points. Then you can open up an area where, and it unlocks all the um, stars in that area. That was kind of stupid. That's kind of, that's really fucking stupid. Why do I have to? Why do I have to do that? Why can't I like get the points offline? So if you can't, can't play on, if you have no one to play online with, it, then it was, a, it was literally a waste of freaking time. I tried to shine at Johnny Hunt that way. I feel like, and I, I was really kind of disappointed in the DLC on Pokemon Two, because like, I they there was a real missed opportunity to put more to put more like. Um, Paradox Pokemon in the game. Um, I think is it aside from obviously the DLC legendaries plus the like I think it was legend like the it was like the legendary dogs that were the Paradox and like the well the, the three Musketeers Pokemon like the, all done the Paradox forms but that's about it. I don't know. I just feel like it was sort of a waste. Sort of a waste opportunity. Definitely a waste opportunity to be honest, and like, I don't know even the, even the even the they also brought up the prologue. It was pretty much like a third DLC. It was for the um, myth, the mythical for that for the for um, uh, Scarlet and Violet. Even that was sort of like lackluster. I mean, I mean the 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 um, the event was quite fun, was quite interesting. Don't get me wrong, it was it was cringish, a bit cringe though, but it was actually. But I'm like, I don't know, I'm like, it wasn't like the craziest thing in the world. I thought, like, I thought that they they could have done something way cooler, and they didn't. Like, well, especially with all, with, with introducing Kieran. I mean, Kieran being like, like gone like super super like emo. They could have could, they could have done it, worked it in with the um the new mythical Pokemon, but they didn't. So it was a bit, it was a bit, I don't know, it was a bit, uh, to me, it was a bit like Luster, to be honest. In my opinion, it was a bit like Luster. And I, I don't know, and then, then I, I think I went from Pokemon to like doing DBD, doing DBD-ish. I mean, I did a lot, of, I, I used to stream a lot of DBD back in the day. DBD, 
at the moment I'm sort of I'm my I mean yes I play Garcha but the thing is I I feel like at the moment I'm just sort of doing more I'm sort of in between variety and Garcha right now I quite like doing I mean I quite like making Archer games I quite like doing I quite like my variety to be honest I don't know I still play DVD just because uh, actually I haven't tried the new lights out mode I'm probably not I'm gonna be I'm gonna be straight up I don't I didn't like the the first lights up lights out uh, what's, I haven't even seen the new lights out trailer uh, let's go lights out trailer uh, I know it's supposed to be like they were the Castlevania themes I think the lights out D B D lights lights out. Is it the new trailer? Is this the new trailer? Yeah, this is the new trailer here. Right, let me get it. Let me get it up. Sort of like a metal long. Let's have a look at it. Like, I, I, I like that. First, the first thing I can say, like, I really like the new, the new cosmetics. Like, very Castlevania, very, very Castlevania themed. I really I quite like that. The candle thing, I don't understand. I, I, I guess you can run around with a candle. So, is it just literally just the same game mode? So you have a candle now. Look, I don't, I don't really understand. To be honest, I don't really understand it. Okay, you can put, you can place the candle on top of the gem. I guess it gives you a bit of visibility, I guess. Oh, yeah. I did hear that, that, that killers can destroy the candles. I don't know really what that does. Does, but... Because I haven't played the new game mode yet, but like... Or the improved Lights Out game mode. I don't, I don't know. Oh, that's fucking terrifying. That's fucking terrifying. That's... Well, that's terrifying. Okay, so it's... So it's there to succeed between... I thought, when am I, when am I back? When am I... Actually, when am I back? When am I back? When... Because when, I'm leaving tomorrow. And I'm back. So I literally... So I, I'm literally going to miss the whole event. I mean, I'm not... I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really care, give two shits about the event. Let's be honest. I really don't care. I'm gonna say that I'm gonna say that a buck as nice as possible. I don't really care about this event. I didn't, didn't like the first one, so I'm not. I'm to be honest. I'm not really missing out on much. I am not missing out on much at all. To be honest, I didn't really care about it as much. I know, because um, what I found with the thing is that the best way to play lights out. If lights out is very much for killer. If you play a killer that has um, if you have a killer that has um, like killer killer instinct, you is an easy is an easy dub easy dub if you have killer instinct. It's literally an easy dub. That's so, it. But yeah, do you? I quite like. To be fair, to be fair, they need to do more. They need to branch branch like they did, like they did for like Frank Stone. I think that they should do more. I know, I know they do some this new thing. It's like sort of like a Left 4 Dead style sort of game that's coming out. I probably won't. We probably won't get more information about it till next year. The next probably 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 not even do it until the next um, anniversary, pretty much. But um, I know f there was like there was like five chapters that were leaked. Um, I was ever gonna find a video on it. There was like five chapters. Like I think it was like and f and two cancelled chapters. So we were gonna get. Suppose we suppose the next the next chapters like were that's been leaked and been um it was a new killer that has a dog. He's supposed to be getting that in close to in December. Um obviously the FNAF the FNAF one. J um Slenderman and and Jason. I uh, was supposed to be that, that, and those are from reputable DVD leak, leaks, leaks, DVD leaks. Uh, is there anything like, like not? 
nothing. 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 Damn, nothing is shit. But yeah, but spoke. No, like, actually, like proper videos. Excuse me, no proper videos on it. But yeah, we're supposed to be getting um, but yeah, supposed to be getting a new killer in December. But if it's, it is like a little dog mechanic, so kind of like knights sort of mechanic, but with with a dog, but with a doggle. Um, then we get then it's supposed to be uh, I think it's supposed to be Slenderman. Then it's FNAF, Then it's then it's Jason. As in, I mean I. I know there's a whole thing with the law, the lawsuit with Jay, all the rights with Jason. So I don't know if that. I mean, I said that was if anything that's going to be the late, really, really late in the year, of next year. Uh, we know we're getting FNAF. We know we're getting FNAF. Slenderman. I feel like Slenderman should have been in the game for a long time ago. I think I don't know. Is it, depends what sort of. Depends what sort of um who, who which Slenderman it is because there's the Warner Brothers one because. The what is the the Warner Brother movie one, or is it the or OG? Is all, all the Slenderman arrivals um, one, all the OG Slenderman game? So there's a bit of like great. I think there's a little bit of a gray area on all that all, all that sort of stuff. It's supposed to be getting two survivors as well for the this league that the league that we're gonna get two survivors in the um, DVD chip in the uh, FNAF FNAF Farm chapter. And let's be honest, we're getting spring trap. Let's be honest. It'd be, it'd be stupid if we didn't get spring trap. It'd be stupid if we don't get spring trap. It doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like we're getting um a map. But I don't. I don't. To be fair, I feel like it would, it would just be too difficult if we got a a, a a map for get a map for um for that. Because I mean, I would love like a, a, a like a pizzeria map. The thing is, it's it will be very, very difficult to actually make a map. Do you know? Like, there's no like, there's no real layout on like the OG, like the OG, like sort of like um, the OG location. I think the only one they could probably do is maybe like like, like the um, piece of place sort of one thing is they're not, they're not gonna make a map that that big. They're not, they're not gonna make a map that big. So that that would be crazy if they made a map that big. But anyway, talking about FNAF, we should actually get into this, this, um, theory, this theory video. Alright, so... Um, we're, getting to, we're getting to this theory video. So, all we've all been wrong about it's me, FNAF theory. So... Uh, is it not? Is it not? Is it not? It's me. It's, isn't that... Um, isn't that... Isn't it Fred... Like... Like... like Gordon Reed slash Fred Bear saying, "It's me, your brother, like Cassidy slash Evan." And I, I, I don't know. FNAF, FNAF theory, there's always I always there always seems to be a lot of gray areas with freaking FNAF theories. I I love watch. I love things. I love I love watching them though. There's so there's a lot of out there. Tra there's so many. There's so many out there sort of freaking um theories. Yep. It's a me, a Mario. Yep. Yep. It's me. It's a me. This understanding of it's me has been fundamentally wrong in the entire fan base, myself included. Okay. As recently as a month ago, I made a full theory on my thoughts on Golden Freddy. And I okay. Still this theory, but in it, my thoughts on it's me were incorrect. And at least they drastically changed mm. thanks to the newest FNAF book of the week before. So Slices, put on our Interesting. and let's make ourselves a theory. So what is the week before? It's mm. the first full volume of a new series of interactive novels. Okay. FNAF's take on choose your adventure style books. Okay. Ironically, the week before on September 3rd. And it is one of the most impactful pieces of media to ever come out of this franchise. Okay. I'm not kidding. It presents itself well, I, as... I thought the books went, didn't... I thought the books didn't... Like, the book, the books don't um, line up with the, um, the game lore. Or is that like that doesn't just a red herring all this time? Because I feel like a lot of theorists have used the books, the the books to um piece together piece together a lot of theories. 
and and I, there's a th- actually there's a theory. I want I wouldn't mind doing a th- like making making a theory because I think I think I got this really cool theory. Uh, I'll talk about it after we watch the video, but I got a really, really cool theory. We'll go into the games and a prequel to FNAF One, where we play mm-hmm. as Phone Guy or Ralph. Ralph. Yes, I'm not kidding. The first page and the summary of his book confirm the name of Phone Guy from FNAF One, which is crazy. We play his last. I thought, I thought Phone Guy was. Uh, I thought Phone Guy was freaking um. Was um. Purple Guy. The week before FNAF One. Okay. So spoilers ahead because we will be. Through this book today. But luckily, even if you okay. haven't read it yet, it won't fully spoil the book because there are multiple. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like reading books, so this is good. Not only is this, this book really well written and one of the most enjoyable FNAF books to read, in my opinion, it is mm-hmm. absolutely packed to the brim with lore and confirmations. Okay. I mean, here's a teaser for what I'm talking about. At some point in the novel, somebody leaves a voicemail for you on the phone in okay. the security office, but you need a code to access the voicemails. Your options are to punch in random numbers, try 1983, try 1987, or use an item with a code on it. If you try 1983, you get this page. Four okay. digits. Could be a year, you think. You can't remember what year the first Fred okay. Vester's Pizza opened, or its predecessor, Fred Vester's Family Diner. But one year does stick out. It was known as the Big Bite until it happened again four years later. Kind of like how World War okay. I was just the Great War until another one came along. Speaking of tragedies that could have been avoided. You punch in the numbers 1983, and the phone line crackles. Then you hear a sobbing child. There's definitely a little boy crying on the other end of the line. He's shouting, no, let me go. You lean forward. Hello? Hello, are you there? Talk to me, kid. No, please, I don't want to. Your skin prickles. You realize you're listening to a recording. Oh, wow. Help anyone. Give you a closer look, another boy says, his voice mean and hard. You hear children's laughter and bubbly pop music. One of Fredbear's original hits, The Secret of oh, wow. is You, that you haven't heard in years. Hey, stop that. Put him down. Man shouts. Get back from the stage. Do not touch the bear. People start shouting and screaming. The music plays on. The boy cries on until crunch. So, like, on one. Wow, they actually hit main description of the bite. They actually did a description of the bite. That's insane. Where the where the um crying child glitchy got his head chomped by for, for freaking Fred Bear. Crazy. Game over screen. You die later on that page. We basically get a confirmation that the crying child. Or Dave, if recent theories are true, which I believe, mm-hmm. was bitten by Fred Bear in Fred Bear's Family Diner on the year 1983. No, this year was not just the year that the TV show started. This is the seemingly confirmed mm-hmm. year of the bite of the crime trial. This book is That's crazy. We are going to be making multiple videos about the cavalcade of lore inside of this novel. Just That's about crazy. Just telling us the theories that it proves and breaks. But after reading this book, one thing came to mind more than anything yep. else. And we just had to talk about it. That being the usage of the phrase, it's me. No. On a first playthrough, it's me doesn't seem too out of place. No. It mostly appears when you would expect it to. It appears slightly randomly through the pizzeria, like on page 31. Yep. When Ralph hears whispers of some kind of children's rhyme from one of the bathroom songs. Okay. And in going to investigate, he finds a ballpoint pen and it's me angrily scribbled on the skull wall. Or on page 49, okay. he calls the backstage to try to distract some of the animatronics. And somebody actually picks up the backstage phone, to which he hears a child crying, eventually a garbled voice say, it's me. We also, oh, like wow. games, what we would expect, get more prominent okay. games when encountering Golden Freddy. Near one of the endings of your first playthrough of the book, Ralph is in a stare down with Gordon Freddy while waiting for other animatronics to settle. And he knows if he looks away, he'll die. While staring at Golden Freddy, it's me begins pervading his mind, even in his vision. Sound familiar? But he looks away for a second to make sure the other animatronics have settled. And they have. That second was all Golden Freddy needed, though. As when he looks back, Golden Freddy is right in front of his face, grabbing the sides of Ralph's head. We then get this page. Is this Ralph's thoughts? Is this all he hears? It's unclear. But this It's Me onslaught mm-hmm. is broken up. About halfway through, we get, just under the angry onslaught of noise, you hear a soft voice, a warm and gentle one. A woman saying, it's me. Thank you. You did it. She'll be all right now. She's safe. She's safe. Then the It's Me's continue until eventually in a place where she's safe. Ralph then smiles and goes to sleep, presumably dying in peace. Out of context, this scene makes absolutely no sense. But... That's inter- that is an interesting take. So she it's saying she's safe. 
So is it referring to the puppet, the puppet that is Henry's daughter, or is it because I think it's pretty much confirmed there's two spirits in Golden Freddy slash Fred Bear. So there's Cassidy and there's Evan. So 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 with the is Ca- is Cassidy a girl? Was he saying interesting? See that that that's thrown that's thrown everything in a loop. For like if because we don't really know anything about the the one that should not have been killed. So pretty much Cassidy is the one that should not have been killed because we don't really know when Cassie Cassidy died. Pretty much. You don't know, in, in, the, in the game, we know, we've got a rough idea, we, also we have a rough idea, we, there's a pretty sure crying child was Evan. As I said, FNAF lore, FNAF lore is all over the place. And the, as I said, I'm hoping, in the, especially in the new game, they give us more, they give us more, like, context on, like, a lot of stuff. Cat, though. Cat. It still muddies the usage of it's me. But before we get there, let's settle what the context of this moment is. And to hey, Tony. So introduce the newest character of Map 1, mm. Brown and Light. Right away, Brown and Light is an interesting name. Okay. So we should discuss the meaning of it. Brown and Light. Okay. Brown and directly translates to blessed breast in Old English. Okay. At this point, breast was defined as... Hill. So okay. her name literally translates to a blessed hill of light, which to me is like this, but we don't have time to hear mm. that. Right now. Anyway, she's a reporter Interesting. into Freddy Fazbear's Pizza after she applied and didn't get the job, but okay. still obsessed with what she heard about the restaurant. In her research, she found reason to believe that the animatronics were planning something. Yeah, this book gives us a lot more insight into the animatronics. Interesting, planning something. More intelligence than we thought possible. They're not okay. just rabid animals at the behest of the spirits inside them. They work together. Well, they open doors for each other. There's even a moment where Ralph is hiding in the security office and they enter looking for him. But when they don't see him, they oh. check the cameras. Eric, thank you for the raid. Eric, thank you for the raid. How are you? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for the raid. Much appreciated, friendo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'll give you a quick shout out. Shout out. Actually, I don't think we'll do this. Yes. Yeah, hello, Aries. How you do? How you do? Hope you're done. I, I, hope your stream was good. I'll give me quickly. Sage podcast. Yep. We're doing... Po- we're do- we're doing, the, we're doing the podcast. Oh, but you don't want, you don't want to God, um, I need to do, I need to, I need to quickly do this, shoot quickly. Uh, da- dance. I bet, uh, hopefully that works. Hopefully that works. There we go. Ah, you're playing some Stardew. How was the star? That was the Stardew. I hope the Stardew was fun. Uh, oh, 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 I was ready. Why, why, why am I angry? Why am I angry? No, 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 no. No, I was. Oh, oh no, no. There we go. Fixed it. I got four. I got fourteen heart events. Let's go. Fourteen heart events. Let's go. Let's. Let's go. Sounds like sounds like you had a lot of fun. Fun. At the moment, I am playing some. I'm. I'm checking out. And Mel, we're, we're, look, go, we're going into f- Finance of Freddy's Law. I'm just crazy. As, it, as you know, I'm a big fan of Finance of Freddy's, but the thing is, the law is like... As with, well, FNAF law is like, is like, is crazy. As it, because it's always, the law is always confusing on Finance of Freddy's. But no, I'm glad you had a good stream. A good stream. Thank you, thank you so much for writing. As in, I hope you, I hope you, I hope you're good. I'll be good. I'll be good. All right, let's get back into this video. Let's get back into this video. They are intelligent. They're capable of making context plans. The plan they've created involves their charging pads. Another neat point we get. Did Sage have a lol YouTube, YouTuber YouTube? And I did. I didn't know. I said Sage, 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 and I used to talk about FNAF all the time. Is 
Like trying to me, me and Sage have been trying to. Me and Sage used to use the freaking trying to sort of solve FNAF for the longest time. Actually, talking about them, them actually going on them saying that they're, they're, they're smart and they know how to open doors. Like that kind of makes sense because the in the in the in the FNAF movie, it, they, they they were like they they knew they were doing it and they, they, like Gordon Freddy was sort of like being mischievous and like saying. Yeah, we, we, we're totally your friends. We're not trying to murder you and put you in a suit to make you one of us. You see, they, 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 so they, they're, not stu- they're not stupid. They're smart. I mean, they are technically ki- kids in, in animatronic suits. They probably want revenge. Uh, want revenge. The is the way they charge. Charge? Oh wow! I did not. I'm gonna be honest. I did not know that. I did not know that they had the charge. The old OG ones. They lit. Oh. I mean, that kind of makes sense in a way. We even get glimpses of this happening in some of the bad endings in Game Over. One of them even lines up with how animatronics okay. act in the Twisted Ones. In that book, there are animatronics hunting Charlie, the main character, and they find out they're hunting her because there's a direct line of casualties caused by these animatronics leading from where they started to where Charlie is. Meanwhile, in one well, that's, 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 that sounds more like a rival. Figuring out this whole plan and situation, kids start going missing night by night. And it forms a direct line from Freddy Fazbear's Pizza to the apartment that okay. Ralph and his daughter Coppelia live in. So, anyway, when Browning discovered this plot, she tried to put a stop to it herself, breaking into Freddy Fazbear's Pizza to mess with the electronics. But unfortunately, Bonnie mm. catches her, stuffs her into a Freddy suit, and finishes the job by putting Fredbear's head on top of her and activating it. Another side note here, multiple times... Damn. That's, got, that's brutal, but that's brutal, Barney. I don't realize they're, 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 they're that brutal. That's that. That's really brutal. Jesus. See an animatronic trying to stuff either ourselves or someone else into a suit. So I know we kind of got confirmation of this in the final game of the screen. Yep. Eyes coming out of Freddy, but it's nice to know that whether or not they think you're an endoskeleton, it is true that the animatronics are going to try to stuff you into a suit. Back to the point. No, I never, I never understood that. You know. Like, I never understood why are they shoving you in a suit. Like, I I, don't, I never understood why they did that. Even even in the movie, they didn't even they didn't even they didn't even have that even in the movie. They didn't try to shove people in the suits in the movie. I mean, I think they did shove the, shove people in the suits like in the middle of the movie. But I think the majority of the other people that, that they stuffed in the suits were already like. We're already gone. Already gone. And I, to me, I never understood why they shoved, why the animatronics were shoving people into the suits. I mean, I never. I know that it's basically because they they think that they, people are endoskeletons, but even so, that 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 detail never. I never understood that detail. To be honest, I never understood that detail. In for now. Even so, they, they haven't they haven't done it. That's only that, that, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm I'm pretty sure that's been retconned too because like they had they haven't done it since FNAF one like them shoving people in the suits. Like FNAF two, FNAF three, FNAF four, all them that has that hasn't had that theme. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there is. I don't. Maybe I'm not. But FNAF is hard. Look, but FNAF and Lore is hard. Okay. FNAF is hard. It's when she's dying, mm-hmm. essentially, and she begs him to finish this job, stop this plot, mm-hmm. because not only would it affect everyone else, she has reason to believe they want to kill his daughter. After all, Ralph has worked here for an incredibly long time. Why? But why, though? I, why do they want, I don't understand why would they want to kill another... That doesn't make any sense, though. That doesn't make any sense. I guess if you go on the FAF movie law, they want... Um, Mike's sister to be one of them 
So is it is, is this the same? Is this the same scenario? They want um, Ralph's daughter, phone guy's daughter, to be one of them. And I, I feel like that seems. I feel, I seen that, that doesn't seem right to me. That doesn't really seem right to me. It's her belief that these animatronics are angry at him. They've been stuck here. Why does he get to leave? Mm-hmm. They want to kill Coppelia as part of that. At the end of the point, what? But that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Well, also, like, I suppose they, um, Ralph, Ralph's. It's supposed to be um, William Afton slash fu- purple guy, the guy who murdered the kids. Like, the thing is, it doesn't sound like it is. And they say the, the animatronics think it was purple guy, like the whole like Mike being purple, being purple guy's son, and uh, he looks exactly like purple guy. I know it, it, for that, it's, it's laws weird. Okay. Into law mo- mode while I'm doing chores. Lurk mode. All goods. All goods. All goods. Areas. Go do what you gotta do. So, 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 is all this time purple guy is? Has the phone guy actually been an actual guy? Because I thought the whole thing with purple the phone guy was this is just this William Mathis slash purple guy just. Just um, fucking with us. Did he is per- was the phone guy actually an actual guy? Well, that, well, that also leads no, that, well, that, that could also lead to believe maybe the daughter became. Maybe, like, there's no way the daughter didn't, didn't, doesn't want, doesn't. That, 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 mm. How old was the daughter? I might have to read this. I might have to go get this book. Might have to go get this book. They actually um. Get an understanding, but like, because it seems like a very interesting thing if a phone guy, phone guy is named Ralph, and he had a daughter. There's no way that the daughter, because I assume because it's been in like between like 1983 between 1983 around 1983, the daughter will be like in her thirties or like tw- like early tw- or early. Like late, like mid twenties, so like so she's got to be around. So there's no way that she's not she's not part of the like the new, the new um, the new um era of um FNAF. I don't know. I, I, is it? I don't know. This doesn't it makes a lot of sense to me. To be honest, because so, everybody was because the whole thing was phone guy. Phone guy was purple guy, and he was just fuss fucking with us. Obviously, that's not the case now. Phone guy, I'm pretty sure, was a night guard on the final week. But yeah, but they, but they, it literally was was they, they literally were saying that the the phone phone guy was literally purple guy pretending to, like pretending 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 was supposed to be purple guy who's fucking with you. I that, that's what I, I always thought it was just purple guy, but now it's confirmed confirmed now that um um. Phone guy was actually a proper guy, an actual guy called Ralph. I need to read this book. I need to read this book. Insane. Oh, uh, what's this? Mm, skip. And it's working. Now, all that context out of the way, the burning question: As Brown is dying, yeah. Why does she say it's me? Here's the thing: It's a me, a Mario. The only time that Brown or even Ralph. 
says it's me. It pops up a lot more in the story. On page 108, before okay. Ralph even knows who Browning is, he has a sort of nightmare or hallucination, it's hard to tell, but he gets this vision of somebody wearing a Freddy suit covered in blood walking into the room he's hiding in, leaning in and saying it's me. The presumption being, since this is after Brownin was killed, this is Brownin saying it's me within Freddy Fowler. That's Even more so, fucking terrifying. What I believe is the true playthrough of the week before, Ralph is leaving the night for a voicemail we hear in fact <coughs> on his fifth night. He forgot to leave one for night four. And that's the one we famously hear of like him getting attacked and dying. Turns out that screaming, not just Gordon Freddy, mm -hmm. it's all of the animatronics screaming at the same time to short circuit the office. Regardless, we then cut to after that voice okay. where Ralph is trapped inside one of the animatronics, unsure if he's even still alive. But we get his thought process, which says, something smells bad. It might be you. It's me. In italic font. So we have two people dying in animatronic okay. suits saying, it's me. Something that, theoretically, only Golden Freddy would say. But it gets even stranger. Because Freddy himself, not Golden, Freddy Fazbear says it's me multiple times. On one of the game overs, when you're trying to shut down the animatronics and Freddy catches you, he charges at you. And right before Ralph dies, all the animatronics start laughing like little children in children's voices. And he realizes out loud that they're just kids. And Freddy leans in and just before killing Ralph says, it's me. Notably, in that moment, Ralph mentions he wants okay. to be like without a frontal lobe, which kind of implies that Freddy did the fight of 87, but there are other moments in this book that point to a different, specific animatronic, so I don't think that's what it's saying here, just want to point that out. We're definitely going to talk about what this book says about the fight of 87. This isn't the only time animatronics say it's me. Sometimes it happens when they aren't even in Freddy Fazbear's pizza. In one of the game overs, okay. Ralph is trapped in Freddy's while the other animatronics escape, eventually getting a call from his daughter that his friends from work showed up. When he asks who it is, she hands the phone to Freddy, and Freddy over the phone says, it's me. In another ending, when the animatronics that, th make it that's to the while you're home, they kill you and go after your daughter. While you're dying on the ground, Chica walks in from the direction of your apartment, leans over you, and in your daughter's voice says, it's me. So what's going on here? If Freddy and the gang are saying it's me, separate from Golden Freddy, even okay. outside of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, then it can't just be because of Golden Freddy. So is it's me completely divorced from Golden Freddy? Well, I don't think so, because when Golden Freddy does kill you, it's the most it's me in the entire book by a exponential amount. So we're not given a clear answer here, but when in okay. Final Freddy's are we ever? All this to say, what does it's me truly mean? I think the key here is that even though these animatronics make a lot of noise throughout this book, they never speak. They'll moan, sometimes they okay. moan, they scream, they screech in electronic... Hear me out. Hear me out. Is it a phrase that the, that the, the kids on the animatronics remembered after, di after, getting, after Dial getting murdered? Of purple guy saying it's me, like like pulls off the like pulling off the mechanism. It's me, stab 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 stab. Is it a phrasing after? Is it a phrase that purple guy is used to the merc the pretty much merc the, the kids and put them in the suits? Is it a phrase that that purple guy said as after killing the kid after kill like killing the kids? And that, and they remember that saying. That could that that could be a possibility. No, because to be fair, when, when the whole it's me thing, you, you, you relate to Golden Freddy, but you're saying that all the animatronics are saying it's me. Is it them remembering, purple guys saying it's me, as they were getting murked? You know what I mean? Is it a phrase that they remembered? I know, no, it, it, it's interesting. It's, it's a very, very interesting. Agony. At times, they sound exactly like little children crying mm. and laughing, but they never speak outside of the words, it's me. Probably it's a me, Mario. They are also, to an extent, aware of who they are. Or rather, it seems like they're aware that they are not these animatronics. Okay. After all, in one of the scenes of you escaping Chica, you're in the kitchen, and there's a cupcake with a candle on it. You can light that candle and hide. And Chico will come in and okay. stare at the lit candle on the cupcake. This is insane. 
Listen to how crazy this is. In that moment, you're given the option to sing happy birthday. And if you do, Chica doesn't attack you, but continues to stare at the cupcake. And you get these lines. When you get to the part where you name the birthday person, a name pops into your head. Happy birthday, dear Susie. Happy birthday to you. Chica lets out an anguished scream and smashes the cupcake with a hand. She storms out of the kitchen wailing. Weird, you think, even for a walking animatronic. In a moment of clarity, Chica is given a birthday cupcake and is sung happy birthday. But when Ralph... Oh, that's kind of that's actually kind of sad. That's actually that's actually really sad because I would assume because Ozzy um the spirit on Chica is called Susie and all she obviously she must have, she got murked on her birthday and like it brought up tra like best bad memories of being being murked oh that's raw that's sad oh that's actually really sad that's actually really really sad. Says Susan, it tears through her and she runs away, sending her over there. That's sad. By the way, this book does seemingly confirm Susie as Chica and Jeremy as Bonnie. With mm -hmm. this strong evidence, the strong evidence we've had in the past, and the head graveyard evidence. That's, that's so sad. I think it's pretty safe to just assume we've been right about the missing child incident victim names. Susie being Chica, Jeremy being Bonnie. Gabriel being Freddy and Fritz being Foxy. Anyway, it seems to me that even if mm -hmm. they don't truly remember who they are, they know for a fact they are not the animatronic characters they're possessing. With that, well, that makes sense. What happens if these animatronics try to talk? Like if you were to ask them who they are? Quote from the book, you're just kids, you say. Who? Freddy's face is inches from your head. He leans down. You wonder what it would be like living without your frontal lobe. A warped, horrible voice says, it's me. We have no direct evidence as to what's going on, but it's my inclination that these characters were programmed to say a lot of things, and we get some evidence that they said a lot of things. Okay. They were also, as I do, the, I do, I, I'm still, I'm still thinking it's a, the it's me thing must be a phrase that they remembered. It must be a phrase that um, Purple Guy used, because it it seems too it seems too specific. I don't know. It, it seems very specific. They programmed to introduce themselves. So all this in mind, logically, what is a perfectly reasonable introduction for a children's character like this? It's me, Freddy. It's me, Bonnie. It's me, Chica. No, no, no. I I don't I don't think so. I I think you lost it. You lost it on that. I think it's the. I think it's them remembering. What the last words that that, that um. Willie William after slash purple guy said before they died. And the and the last thing was it's me. I think I think I do believe that is it's a phrase, that purple guy used. It's me. So that programming might be inside them, and the program speech might be all they're able to say, but they know they're not these well, that, well, if you're saying it's a phrase that the animatronics know, then it makes no perfectly. It makes no sense. It makes no sense it for um for Golden Freddy because Golden Freddy doesn't have anything in the suit. It's just a suit with no with no endoskeleton. So that what you're saying there doesn't make any fucking sense. That you should have killed your argument there. Afton might have stuffed them into these suits and forced mm -hmm. their souls to be trapped in these robots. Yep. But he can't change who they truly are. They will not identify themselves as these characters. So when they try to speak, to acknowledge something, all that comes out are these introductions. But they're stopped short. But no, I don't think so. So then, if that's true, why is Golden Freddy so special and able to say it so much? Truthfully, I'm not sure yet, but I lean towards it having something to do with no. how strong the spirit of Golden Freddy is. No, I don't, I don't, I think you, 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 you're going somewhere, then you fuck, you, no, I don't believe. ...being able to kill someone just by looking at them, and clearly their spirit has a lot to say if that ending with Ralph is anything to be believed. 
I don't think I think you I think you've um, lost the art. I think you lost it there. That the, the, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. That's my thoughts on this anyway. Regardless of what you think of my conclusion, because there are flaws in it. I mean, if programming is the reason, why does it's me appear mentally in their minds? I'm not sure. I don't have a good explanation for that. But regardless of what you okay. think of my conclusion... Uh, am, am I... My thing, I think, it, the it's me is not the the, the animatronic program saying, it's me, three D, it's me. But it, what he's trying to say, I think, the it's me is the last thing they heard when the, before William well, Purple Guy slash William Afton killed them. As it also gives a reason why also Golden Free says it a lot because technically Golden Free was 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 the, the one that you should not have killed. Meaning it was an accident. It was an accidental kill. Uh, and plus, Golden Freddy is like an, an, an vengeful spirit. So, I think it's a, it's a it's a phrase. It's a phrase. It's me. That William Afton used to kill kill them, and they remembered it. That's what I believe. I think them saying it's it's the the animatronic programming is I don't. It it just seems it doesn't seem doesn't sit right, to, in my opinion. I feel like it's more it it, it, must, it means more than just the animatronic suit saying, "Oh, it's a me, it's a me, ready, it's a me, it's a me, Barney." No, that doesn't make sense to me. I think it's William William William, William, William pulling off the mask. And, it's me. Steps step, step, it's like like it's 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 like. It's like in in The Shining, like it's Johnny, like it's it's me, you know. I think that's the, I think that's what I think that's what I think. I think I could be wrong. I could, it could be on animatronic programming, but I feel like it's such a meaningful saying. It's me. I feel like it doesn't make sense if it just be an animatronic program of the animatronic saying it's me. It's me. I feel like it's the, what they last heard when they got killed. It make, that makes the most sense to me. I think it's safe to say that our understanding mm. of it's me has been inherently flawed this whole time. Not to say we've made mm. a mistake, but if you make a theory based on evidence you have and new evidence comes mm. out to disprove that, I do. I do think we 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 we, 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 we heard it's me. We related to Gordon Freddy, but the thing is that now that the, all the animatronics say it, and this in this in this story, and this new book. And and to me, it, it's saying that gold, that purple guy, it was the last thing they heard when purple purple guy killed them. I think that's what I'm getting at. Because I feel like there's a lot more meaning to it's me, the animatronic programming. I think yep. it's at least clear from this book that It's Me was never unique to Golden Fred. Just said the most by him. Yep. What do you think? What do you think of this book? I'm genuinely so excited. I I have no I have no thing on the book because I haven't I haven't read the book so I can't confirm or deny the bit of book. And if you haven't read that Fazbear Frights book yet, I actually just released my second ever audiobook recording of it. Okay. I. He got he. I think he Rai has fluffed up his his whole interpretation of what the what the ESP is about. But I, I mean again again it, it's a theory video. So again, the, the, everybody has their different opinions on a theory, on a theory. I just don't think it's the animatronics programming saying it's me. I do I do think it's it's a phrase that that will even have to use to kill the kids. And that it makes the most because it, 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 the phrase "it's me" seems so unique to the FNAF story. There's, it, it can't be just animatronic programming. It doesn't. It does not make sense. It does not make sense, in my opinion. As in, uh, all right. Well, well, it was a good video. Don't get me wrong. It was a good video, but I feel like there's more to it. There's definitely more to that. Alright, I def I need to pick up the book and have a, have a read. Because I feel like there's more to it than that. Because um, I, 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 I have a theory going on um, recently. 
like with the whole like the mixer system, um, Cassie, um, even with the, with the new game Into the Pit, um, because I think it's confirmed that Cassie's dad was the bon- was the Bonnie bully from FNAF Four from the FNAF Four mini game when the, when when these when the kid got when um the crying job got chomped. I think that's pretty much been, been 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 confirmed. I think there's more there's more lore stuff going on in the, the into the pit. Even though it was a story from the first Bit Frights games, it, like it, I know there's a like a very small chance of a free match dropping from the base from the from the um the was it the the attic the not the attic the ba- I think it's the attic sorry a mere free match falls. So I think that's confirming that Oswald's dad was the the Freddy bully. I think this new series of games is showing is showing the is showing the bullies the bullies the gods thing chomped. All right, because we 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 know that pretty much Cassie's dad is pretty much dead. I do believe he is he is the the entity in the in the mech, he's the Mexus entity. Um, trying to stop Ca- trying to stop Cassie. I do think because you don't, t- technically technically because technically um technically Mexus doesn't attack you doesn't actually attack you. Mexus doesn't actually attack you. Um, he gets the animatronics too. As for like as for, as for like um like like oh, I've, I've, I do th- I do think Casey's dad is the is the mixes entity the mixes bunny in, entity, um, I oh, I think I think there's more to Oswald's dad, there's Oswald's dad and in, um into the pit, because I do think he's the because it, it just seems weird if you wa- watch the ending of um the ending to. The ending sequence, sequence we when um when pit trap, like by the ball pit, when when he drags his dad and drags his dad away, he's near the pit and he shakes him like a like like life out of him. I don't understand why he did that. Like it doesn't make any sense. Without without pit trap knowing who Oswald's dad was, you know, I do think he knew he knew. Oswald's dead because he he was the reason why his well he's one of the reasons why why his kid is dead. So I do think Oswald's dead has some involvement into there's, there's more law heavy thing is more law heavy like because I think also I think Oswald's dead also like like blocked that whole trauma out of his memory out of it out of his head because it well, to be fair he wasn't working. Well, let's be honest. If he was the it was is if he is the free bully, he wouldn't even, he wouldn't know the whole. I mean, he wouldn't probably know Spring Bonnie, but he wouldn't. But like, if he's if he's point that, uh, especially with people with trauma, of like they will like try to blank out all all these bad memories. It's like a, like a um, it's like a yeah, it's like a safety like measurement. I do think I do think I really do think um, Oswald's dad is Oswald confirmed that Oswald's dad is the Freddy bully and it's Cassie's dad who's I, I believe still believe he's the Mexus the Mexus entity is the is Bonnie the Bonnie bully <coughs> so it means either the either in the next game the next two games. We will find the confirmation of obviously the fox because let's be honest, we know well the foxy bully is Michael, so l- literally we're gonna find out who the cheeky bully is, and the next person is the cheeky bully. And once the, I feel like once we because I do th- I do think we're gonna find so, some more stuff out in, in Super Got the Mimic. I feel like it would be more. T- or more heading towards like, um, maybe a bit more Cassie's, get more of Cassie's dad maybe, or even because we do know in the, also into the pit there's a 
there's a girl there's a girl named Gabriella that her grand as a granddad or dad was a technician at Freddy Fazbear. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm not, I'm thinking maybe the, maybe because we don't know how, how, we don't really know the confirmed the confirm like the confirm age of of Oswald and what what what, what year it is and in, into the pit. I do think there's a lot more. There's a lot more to that. There's a lot more into the pit game than what meets the eye. But I, I'm not. I don't know. But anyway, I think I, there's definitely a lot more things going on there. Uh, what is the time? I think that's enough. For the, I think there's enough podcast for podcast. I think I rambled on. I think I rambled on about Flare Floor for too long. That I, I think that is it. I don't think I, I. I don't think we need to do the uh, looking on on DVD Twitter. I think we, I think we're, I'm happy with what what is what I've done. So, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate your faces. I am gonna go now and edit down the podcast and upload it. Cause um, in the middle middle of the podcast, I'll, I I yeah, the pop away for a second. So I can edit all that out and get that uploaded. But um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate your faces. I said I'll I won't be streaming until I probably won't be streaming until Thursday. If not, th- it really depends. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. appreciate you too, Aries. Thank you for popping in. Sorry, sorry for my rambling on FNAF law. As it me I use the, I I like I like picking my brain out and stuff. Uh, we should we should rate off as well. We should rate off. Uh, let's see who was on. We'll quickly check who's online. I know nothing about FNAF. Huh? Like, I have been uh, like, uh, to be honest, I'm I'm too invested in FNAF because I like FNAF, and I I want I I like the, the I like the, I like having things answered for me. I want uh, I want to find out find out stuff. And like I get way too into it. It's it, I I know I it's definitely a little bit of a nerd out when I do, talk about FNAF. But um, uh, actually, some people some people really know as it's online. I think we're just in stream. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, but that's all good. But anyway, good team. Thank you all for watching. If you're watching on tw- on Twitch, uh, appreciate your faces. Thank you again. Thank you, Aries, for the raid. Uh, raid. Appreciate you. If you're watching on YouTube, appreciate your faces as well. Um, as I said, as I said, I I, I want to be back on th- Thursday because I'm 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 gonna be away from tomorrow to Thursday because my brother I have my brother get it all sealed in in Christchurch, and once once that once um that's all done, I I'm back. Hopefully, also getting my my new office sorted out, and yeah, hopefully soon. The ch- the church yeah yep as my brother moved down the Christchurch as it as as I said as I said I don't know what's what was up with the Campbell the uh, the 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 beer, the beer brothers with, with Christchurch I mean, I like Christchurch I got I like I actually quite like Christchurch I think Christchurch is a nice like nice place to stay live at the live. Um and and, and there's a lot more there's li- very mo- a lot more chill than um Auckland Beals, but um and I, 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 I had a lot of falling outs when I, I had a lot of falling outs when I um moved back a lot of falling outs but that's okay it happens but anyway team I'm gonna go thank you all for watching appreciate your faces and I'll see you guys in the next next time I stream that's probably gonna be Thursday. But otherwise, thank you. Love you. Love you much. Long time. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, boy. Don't come to my house or else I'll suck your dick. Uh, blood. I'll suck your blood. <laughs> oh, shit.